Hello everyone, welcome to MS Active Webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to configure email disclaimer in Exchange Online using Exchange Admin Center. An email disclaimer is a piece of information or a legal notice which is added below in every outgoing email sent within the organization or outside the organization. Through disclaimer, we provide the information about the confidentiality of email, copyright information, contract formation, scanning or virus etc. Email disclaimer is common for the entire organization. You can apply plain text or HTML formatted disclaimers or legal notice. To do so, we need to create and configure mail flow rule to append email disclaimer in messages. In this video, we will use Exchange Admin Center to set up email disclaimer in Exchange Online. For that, we need to access and log in to the Exchange Admin Center. You can access Exchange Admin Center using the URL https colon double slash admin dot exchange dot microsoft dot com. In the Exchange Admin Center, click on Mail Flow. Under Mail Flow, click on Rules. Click on plus icon to create new rule to apply disclaimer. Click on apply disclaimers. Assign a meaningful name to this rule. I'm giving name Clarex email disclaimer rule. Under apply this rule if select apply to all messages. Click on this drop down arrow and select apply to all messages. Under do the following, leave append the disclaimer selected and select enter text to type your disclaimer. Under specify disclaimer text, enter the text which you want to use as a disclaimer. After entering the disclaimer text, click on OK button. Let's scroll to bottom and click on select one. Choose wrap as fallback option and then click on OK. This means that if the disclaimer can't be added because of encryption or another mail setting, it will be wrapped in a message envelope. Click on this drop down arrow and uh, select high priority. Choose Enforce to turn on the disclaimer immediately unless you want to test it first. So Enforce is already selected. Now I'm going to click on save. On confirmation dialog box, click on yes, yes we want to apply this rule to all future messages. We can see the email disclaimer rule in the rules tab with the priority 0. Let's send a test message to check the email disclaimer. Click on app launcher, click on outlook, open in new tab. We are accessing the mailbox of our administrator Manhar Rakulia using Outlook on the web. Let's compose a new message by clicking on new message. And this is going to be self test mail. So the recipient is going to be cladmin at clarex.onmicrosoft.com. That means Manhar Rakulia. Let's enter subject. After composing the message, I'm going to click on send. Okay, the message has been sent successfully and we have received the message as well. Let me click on this message. And here you can see this is the message which we have sent. But here you can see this is a disclaimer which is attached to this message due to that mail flow rule. So that concludes the video on how to configure email disclaimer using mail flow rule in Exchange Admin Center. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.